It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Team Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 334. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel Winters Herzog. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Noel. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Okay, so last week was episode 333 and it was 33 minutes. That was nuts. And it was it 33 minutes? It was 33, 33. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember afterwards you were like, you'll never guess how long that was. And Isn't I'm like, that crazy? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, 25 minutes. And you're mm-hmm. like, no, 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 no. Yeah, that was crazy. Good. And then yes. you posted about it. And then I posted about it. Just saying. Uh huh. We're here to talk about Family Reunion, Season 3, Episode 6. Nothing's ever going to happen. There's more episodes of this. What happens next? Well, okay. I know that next, Cheyenne and Zach go to therapy, <laughs> I saw. And then next week, Jade, she just calls Brianna. And then she's like, hey, very naturally. Oh, hey, we're in Colombia. Why don't you come down and meet us? Hola. Right. <laughs> so then I guess her link. So here's the thing. If the rest of the people aren't even there yet, how many freaking episodes is this? Oh, well, this is going to be at least 12 episodes. It's a season. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Mm, yuck. Great. Lucky us. Yuck. Yuck. Don't worry, guys. Don't watch the show. Just listen to the podcast. Listen to the podcast because soon enough, we're going to be talking about Janelle and Chelsea and everybody again. We are. We're going to mm-hmm. come back. But in the meantime, you could join our Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast where you could find our other podcasts. So pumped to Vanderpump Rules podcast. Macaroni Rascals, the Jersey Shore podcast. Recycled with Noelle and Michael, which is my favorite new podcast. They're covering uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey season two. And they just covered Crossroads last week by Britney Spears. It's so funny because right now in my head, he's automatically Michael because of you. Yeah, he's Michael. Yeah, he's Michael. So, guys, go check it out. We have so many things over there, including 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life. I mean, really, there's billions of episodes. You're not going to want to miss it. It's not even normal how many bonus episodes there are, because you know what? I am a member of more than one Patreon. None of them have that many bonus episodes. No way. We have so many. And then we also have our favorite podcast, BS, where we just kind of. You know what? We BS. We BS about some cool shit. So go listen to it. Yeah, we do. Listen, (laughs) we go to the grocery store almost every week and then we kill you the hot goss. Yeah, and then I tell you about how terrible drinking lavender is. Mm, yum. Mm-hmm, yum. I, I went bought to the lavender today. Uh, do you, you went? I went to Starbucks today after the gym. I was like, well, I deserve a treat now. You did deserve a treat. All right. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't go, but tomorrow I'm going to go three times. Oh, wow. I know. I was thinking of you. I'm like, I'm on this all caffeine diet. Yeah, I really like it. The other day, uh, we'll talk about this on BS, but the other day yeah. we drank 60 ounces of caffeine before uh-huh. before uh, lunch was over. Let, let me tell you something. That night, I'm like, if I eat, honestly, I think I might die. Like, I went to I sleep so easy, eat. too. Okay, I passed out. <laughs> I think you text me and I was like already asleep or something. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, mm. it was crazy. It worked out. All right, so uh, it's just, I was going to say, because I put family room in <laughs> family reunion season three episode six cheyenne and uh mackenzie there's they are still on the floor they're still on they the are door. and cheyenne said that she's not looking for an apology okay but like why is she so mean why she's she so, is mean. so mean but jade said that dr mike just doesn't get it well because i think that he has half a story he's probably like oh these girls aren't getting mm. along something happened online yes let That's me just it. yes yeah. So um, Mackenzie apologizes and Cheyenne will not look her in the eyes. Cheyenne's like, OK, that's she, that's you. That's a God, you type of acceptance. I know. Like, it sure. Is. Yeah, no, it sounds great. Yeah. See me. I would just be like, thanks so much. You know, but then it's like, I don't know. I don't care enough. She's very mad at Coach Mike. So do you think that she should be mad at him a little I guess I would be frustrated. Like, I'll do this on my own time, but she's like so mad. Whatever. It's easier to be. Like, she's like, I don't even want to look at him anymore. Whatever. I don't want to look at him. Yeah. Yeah. He's now we go. We go back, meanwhile, back at the ranch in the ice baths. Mm -hmm. They're still in the bath. These guys, okay. Like I said, Mm -hmm. these guys have lost the the tissue in their body is now dead. I mean, it's so crazy. They're fully numb now. (laughs) Fully numb. They can do any kind of surgery. (laughs) All right. So they talked to Ryan. He said they've been going back and forth for 10 years. Now they're like 22 years old, right? Yeah. uh Uh-huh. So they met in school, but it's like, he's just not likable. He is so unlikable. Yeah. He's just not likable. He's just mean. 
So they're like, what holds you back? And he's like, well, it depends on if I'm talking to other people. Now, I don't think he meant that moment. I think he meant like through the last 10 years. Oh, yeah. I think he meant like we talk and we're off and on until yeah. I find someone else I like. And then exactly. I dump her. And then when I dump the other person, I go back to Kayla. Sure. Yeah. So they're still trying to figure it out. And he doesn't know if he's they're going to have the kid together. Well, I know that she's going to have the kid. This is a ridiculous conversation. But it's also like, I mean, if I was her right now watching back on this, like I would be so sad just seeing this. Like this is the guy. Yeah. This is the third guy I chose to have a kid with. And mm-hmm. like another scumbag, basically. Literally. Yep. Literally. All right. So Zach said that he doesn't express himself in his relationship. Shut up, Zach. No one cares. Go get like, I don't know. You don't like Zach. It's not that I don't like Zach. It's that I don't care about his sad story. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. Because I think that a lot of it is bullshit because he got them shot, basically. That's so, what I'm saying, though. Like, yeah. this is... Yeah. Like, go get your right. family shot up. Yeah. I, I really... No, it's so true. No, I don't express myself. It's like, yeah, I know. You didn't tell Cheyenne that you were going to get shot either. Right. And this is why you all got shot. Mm-hmm. Yes. So um, Cheyenne said that the reason she was mad is because it was not the forum. Uh-huh. And she was the only black girl and she didn't want to be put in the middle of the room to like be. I understand that. That's weird. Well, I guess like, OK, for me, I just feel like it's weird, like, but not because you're black. I think it's weird. No, but it's because weird, it's weird anyway. for anybody. I would yes. be uncomfortable sitting there if I was Mackenzie and white. Sure. you know what I sure. mean? Yeah. All right. So Cheyenne asked Ryan about the baby. I mean, Ryan is not interested in this baby. Tracy, mm. like okay, at I can't all. wait till the baby watches this. But that's what I mean. Like you Ooh. already know that you're ha- well. I maybe you don't know that you're having a kid because you don't know how things work, right? You know, I just don't think he cares enough. He probably doesn't even know how far along she is, right? I just feel like at the point where you're in maternity clothes, right? I feel like you might have made your decision. But, but hey, acting, I don't know. Right? She's acting like there's time. Who am I? Who am I? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of Cheyenne asking Ryan about the baby, Dr. Mike approaches Cheyenne and he apologizes to her. Yeah. And it was very nice. He's very, very nice. nice, But let me tell you something. Yeah. His personality, him and Tyler are the same person. Why do you think that? He's like, oh, my God, I know. Right. Like, I had to apologize to you. Oh, my God. I'm like, shut up. This is why he's Tyler's doctor. That's so funny. It's like I didn't even like I didn't even a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was more like I hate. Ooh, because of Tyler and Kate, and I know that this is very toxic of me, when people talk like, okay, I'm going to give you the space, or I'm sorry about your trauma, or this or that, it's like, I just roll my eyes, even oh, though this is it's like too real, much therapy talk. It's too yeah. much therapy talk. It's like, why don't you just say like, hey, I didn't know what was going on between you guys. I'm sorry that I overstepped. I didn't mean to. But that's, yeah, he's uncomfortable. Yes, but I get it. Whatever. Because like he's like, it. thank you so much for walking away and taking your space. Mm-hmm. Like, I would just never speak like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um. So this is their last night out. Well, this is Taylor and Macy's last night. Right. Okay. Yeah. Macy did little space buns on Kate. It was so cute. I want them right now. I know. It was the cutest thing. I love that she had her little bang her bang. in she, a ponytail. She clipped her bang away. Her, she's she like, clipped. you know that I'm going to still bang it out. She's, she's like, like, no, you're going to bang it out. I'm banging. I'm thugging it out. I'm banging it out. And she Macy, has it in a little ponytail. Show us your pageant pictures. <laughs> Tracy. I'm like, Macy was a pageant girl? This is why Macy is a converse adult. Yes. Yeah. She's like, uh-huh. I'm never putting yes. a dress on again. Yep. You know, what's so funny. It's like Macy's so bland to me, but I'm like, oh, I would be friends with Macy. So would I. I think she's so nice. Yeah, she is bland. But I think I'd rather be friends with her than Kate. Kate's a lot. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think I'd rather. Yeah, I just think Macy is kind of just like you could be like, yo, I went to Barnes and Noble and put my pants. She'd be like, wow, me too. You uh-huh. know, like she would never yes. judge you. She's cool. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Barnes and Noble. All right. Barnes so, and Noble, R.I.P. All right, so at this party, Zach has to be sober to watch Cheyenne. But how shitty does Cheyenne want to get tonight? Okay, a lot, very. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's maybe a little tiny, tiny baby bit of an alcohol problem between this couple, the way they're fighting about who gets to drink what. Well, yeah, okay. So Cheyenne said that her and Mac live together. They live together. They live together. Guess what? What? You just don't. You don't live together. You this don't. Is not you guys the real are world. staying in the same this hotel. This is vacation. 
Right. right. You guys are staying in the home. Macy has on such a cute hot pink shirt. And usually I'm not one for redheads and pink. And she looks so cute. Yes. Yep. Okay. So they start talking. Mackenzie and Cheyenne start talking. I think Cheyenne got a little liquored up. She was more open. Cheyenne got Uh wasted and was like, Zach, Uh go get her. I'm going to make out with her. Oh, my God. Seriously, like, watch this. You want me to kiss her? I'll (laughs) kiss her. Kiss her. We're going to have a baby. And you know what? I bet Mackenzie would have kissed her just to make up with her. She would have been like, sure, you want me to lick your box? Okay. (laughs) Whatever you need me to. What what do you need from me? What do you need from me? (laughs) Oh, you need an orgasm from me? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so Cheyenne starts talking about Grace. And she said right. that, I, I liked what Cheyenne said. Oh, you know, after all of this, I think that, like I said, I think Mackenzie was wrong to begin with. But I think of all the bullshit Cheyenne kind of put her through during yeah. this trip, this was a perfect yeah. way. Because it wasn't was, like, hey, I'm sorry. No, hey. it was so nice. She was, it was just like, like, I'm being hypocritical. Yes. 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 And um, Mackenzie's like, I love that she was talking about Grace, because mm-hmm. my mom was full of grace, like Hail Mary, like she was full of baloney, <laughs> like Hail Mary, full of grace. Uh-huh. I'm like, hmm. I feel uh, like you know what I thought somewhere. she was gonna say? What I really thought she was gonna say is because my mom's name was Grace. That's what I thought she was really gonna say. Well, it wasn't. Yeah. Um. So she's forgiving Mackenzie. Mackenzie is so happy. Well, they're gonna start on a clean slate now. And I like that she's like, I really do want to get to know you. Yeah. And it's uh-huh. like you're uh-huh. drunk. Yeah. I don't think you actually want to get to know her at all. But you're sure. Drunk. Yeah. Like, I want to get to know you in a little while. Give me like mm-hmm. 10 more minutes. I'm going to do make 25 out. shots. <laughs> so they hug. And now Kate and Ty are tired and they don't want a party. That was very funny. I mean, here's the thing. But it's, that's me and you at every party. It is you and I because <laughs> I'm watching it and I'm like, I think maybe it's because they weren't drinking too. They were just like yeah. over it. Yeah. 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 They were like, hey. They never go out. Noel, they weren't drinking. They haven't had air conditioning in weeks. I mean, Tracy, by that point, I would have heat stroke. Ty was like, at least I was in the ice bath for a few hours. That's true. He's like, I did lose some of my toes, (laughs) but who cares? But who cares? Because it cooled me off. The thing is, yeah, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. No, I was going to say it's so hot that in this part, Jade and Taylor are just. No, but that's what I'm saying. Wiping themselves. Guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone is just constantly sweating. I don't mm-hmm. drink. If you told me that you were going to bring me to a bar with air conditioning, I'd be like, I will do anything you need me to do with this bar. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. But please have the doors closed and the air conditioning it, on. It's just like, I, it, it's like you Is guys like choose rooftop. to go on a rooftop. A rooftop? You guys I'd be like in a basement. Outside. Right. Uh, I want to go into a cold basement. Do you guys have an igloo bar around Do you there? guys have a meat locker? <laughs> yeah, because I would love to see it. Do you guys have a you, walk-in? Because I would like to be in the walk-in while everyone's oh, partying. Oh, my God. You would walk in and just smoke would come off of you and steam. Me and Tyler would have been laying on a bed in the meat locker. And he would have loved it. He would have loved it. He would have been like, this is just like before. When I was in the ice bath all day. All right. So... Uh, Ryan is chugging what Patron or something Patron I would barf for real and I'm not a puker like he took like it, yeah. that was like downing three shots at once I know Taylor tells Kayla that she would be so mad I would too mm-hmm. and Jade you know what that, it turns out Taylor's really nice I feel like we Taylor's don't know nice. Taylor but she's actually super nice Jade said that Ryan didn't want to take any pictures with her and won't let her post him anywhere Tracy, she is pregnant with his child. And she, he's like, she's like, let's take a picture together. He doesn't he's want like, to. No. And then he's like, let she's like, I'm going to sit on your lap. And he's like, that's too much. Yeah. He goes, you got to stand over there. Tracy, they're having a baby together. That means mm-hmm. that he is going to be with someone else. He's looking for other people actively. Or he's with someone else. Or he's with someone else. That's true, mm-hmm. too. That flipped me out because it's like, Kayla, why are you even fighting you for this relationship? No, I know. I but mean. I'm like, Kayla, why are you fighting for this relationship right. with the baby? I know. This is crazy. Yeah. Well, Kayla doesn't know how to be in a relationship without a baby. I like that Jade is like, this is total. This is like fuck boy stuff right yes. here. Because because guys are like, mm, I'm so private. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're so private. Yeah. Okay, you're cool. so private. Mm-hmm. Kayla and him had they talk and he had about 10 shots. He said, I mean, he was freaking he's whacked. like i was a cody she's like oh cody you were cody mm-hmm. your friend cody mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that was i so just funny. i legit don't think he knew his name no he didn't know his name yeah so Corey tries to talk to the both of them 
And he's like, I'd rather him be straight with me and just tell me I don't want to have a baby. It's like. I think he's kind of telling you that. Why do you need him to say it out loud? Right. She was like, I don't know. It's just so weird to me. I do love that Corey's like, I promised Taylor I would talk to Ryan. Yeah. So Taylor cared so much that she asked Corey to talk yes. to him. And, you know, we did miss one thing. Mackenzie was doing splits on the floor. Yeah, of course she was. She's a gymnast. I would. But too. it's like, I think that that's so funny. But while she was doing that, I noticed there was other people there who weren't on the cast. I don't know who these people were. There was like Maybe people bar. standing around, but I figured that they like rented out the place. I just thought it was funny. Like, apparently she's big into dancing. Zach's like, I don't know what the hell she was doing. Electric <laughs> sliding everywhere. <laughs> and it's like she I guess she's fun. She's probably fun. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Zach is getting wasted and he's so mad that Cheyenne said it in front of everyone. Now we go back to last week's 90 day fiance episode with what? Oh, wait, with what? With controlling women with um, Emily tells Kobe to sit down because he hurt his knee. Oh, God. That's what I was thinking. It's like, yeah, controlling. What? But that is what's like on the, all these shows. All these women are like that. She shouldn't have called them out in front of everybody. You could. But I think she was also she's really. She, wasted. OK, she was all the way drunk. So stop. Yeah, she stop, like sits stop on the, with her. She's she, like, sits take on a the, picture. Yeah, of me she's like, before we talk, can you take a picture of me? <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, Cheyenne's wasted. Action. But how does he continue having a conversation with her and thinking like, oh, there's nothing wrong with this? I he doesn't she's realize right. it, right? Like, you're not gonna have a rational I mean... <laughs> conversation with her. It's so stupid. So he said that she's too much, and he said, let me be a man and take charge. It's like, oh, kind of like when your whole family got shot. But also take charge of what drinking. But like, what are you thing? taking it's, charge okay, of? Here? And that's why I'm like, what is happening here? Like, this right. is so important. Right. That one yeah, of you, that you guys have to get wasted. But I don't know if I think that he was just embarrassed that you called him out in front of everyone. Sure. Really? I mean, um, we're on. Here's the thing. You're on family reunion, teen mom. You're literally talking about like your deepest, darkest secrets on camera. Stop. But they're also like when they're arguing, she brings up the pool because he walks away and he's like, fuck, she said the pool. The thing we learned in therapy. <laughs> oh, the he had to come yeah. back. Yeah. He calls her a disrespectful ass. But why are her boobs so large? See, now, as a as a reconstructive plastic uh -huh. surgeon focusing on corrective surgery, mm -hmm. I am like, that is not, this is not a good boob job. No, because they're also saggy. They just are. Uh-huh. She needs a little bit of a lift. Mm-hmm. The implant is way too big for her body. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It makes her look heavier than she is. Yeah, it's like it's like a natural big boob. Yeah, yes. Because mm -mm. like the thing is like Macy was explanted, right? Mm -hmm. Her boobs look great. She must have had a lift. Yeah, she probably had her a lift. boobs look so good. Mm -hmm. But they're not giant. Like they're small. Like mm -hmm. Cheyenne doesn't need to have big boobs. She also has a BBL. You know right. what I mean? It's like I don't think you should have both. You can't have both. Also, there was like no Sean and Jade this episode, like the tiniest bit of Jade. I know. Mm -hmm. Jade looked like J Jade should do porn. She looked like a retired porn star in her. She could do porn. Professional. Yeah, she could do porn. I'm like, this is this is her, yeah. her thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So Cheyenne is now crying in the bathroom and Taylor and Jade go check on her. I love that Taylor is the one that checks on her. Taylor was the first one. The first one. And then also. Corey is the first one that checks on Zach. I know. I know. It's like, like, this is kind of cute. It's so funny because it's like, yo, did Cheyenne and Corey really have a kid together? Like, you forget. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Cheyenne so really. Weird. See, okay. I used to be like, Cheyenne's so into Corey. Yeah. Definitely not. She was. She was. She married she Zach was. because she was in love with Corey. Sure. But now, not so much. No, not anymore. No, now <laughs> that's her brother. For That's like an annoying yes. brother. Because I think now she spent too much time with him. And she's like, oh, he's a drunk. Yeah. She's like, oh, have and fun with annoying. him, Taylor. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Lucky you, Taylor. So they make up. Cheyenne and Zach make up. And they talk mm -hmm. about how they like to argue naked. I know. She's like, we're just naked all the time. Macy and Kate are best friends. Yeah, who knew that they were that close? I like that. Yeah, me too. Well, I guess because the show's been on for so long, they really mm -hmm. have been friends for so long. I wish they would bring up Amber, though. Me too. I'm I, That whole episode, I'm like, or I need Amber or something, like, Just say something. Yeah. All right. So now Dr. Mike goes to get Kayla and Ryan, and he senses, he senses tension. Why? And Kayla's like, no. She's like, I don't think there's tension. I Really? She she said that she liked him because he always like put in effort. He used to like drive an hour to pick her up. And I understand that because it's like she's in these relationships with Stefan and Luke yeah. where it's like getting stale. They don't do and then anything. there's this guy that like is mm -hmm. like super into her because they're not really together. 
the, he seems to be the guy that anytime she's having problems with her boyfriend, yeah, that's she calls that, like him. her side guy. Right. Yeah. And he seemed to be that way with her. And now that she's pregnant, they're like, okay. do we even like each other? Well, I think that now if forget the pregnancy. I think that even now just being the main chick is like, Ooh. that's not what you wanted. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. This is not exciting anymore. No, definitely not. Now you don't have somebody else to fall back on. Yes. Yeah. So um, he said that she's a great mother and that's why he loves her. If someone said that about me. Can you imagine? No. My no. brain would explode. No, that's what I mean. She's a good mother. It's like, um, that's okay. that's my that's identity. Why, great. Great. Uh huh. So she's very closed off. And Dr. Mike asked where she learned that. And she said that she learned that when she was six years old. And he said, what made you learn that? And he basically gets out of her that she was sexually abused. But she won't get into it. She won't get into it. I mean, fair enough. We're on TV. Yeah, of course. She has a hard time being vulnerable with men. Okay, so here's the thing, right? The baby inside of you every time you meet a man tells me a different story. So while I'm watching this, I'm like, okay, me, Noel, I have a hard time being vulnerable with men, yeah. right? I always have. And it's like, mm, this is why I've never gotten pregnant. This is why yeah. I've never done any of this stuff. And it's like, you are the girl that jumps from relationship to relationship that is always in a relationship that's mm-hmm. pregnant in every relationship. And as soon as but you meet you them. You can't be vulnerable with a man? What are you talking about? Mm. But that's like Leah saying that she has trust issues. It's like, it's what exactly are you like... talking about? Right. Yep. So uh, Ryan said that it makes him feel angry. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. The thing that I would have liked to see from Ryan was maybe mm-hmm. him holding her hand. Of course. Or like Hugging getting her. closer to her. I mean, listen, I get it. It's like 400 degrees. Put your arm around her. Wave to her. Right. Blow her a kiss. Kiss her forehead. I mean, there was nothing... There's no physical anything between There's them. no like, like nurturing. Right. So right. he was like, it makes me so angry. I want to protect her. And it's like, no, you don't. If you wanted to protect her, you like you would have your arm around yeah, her or something. something. You're not angry. You think that you should be angry. That's why you say Well, it. he had a family member that was sexually assaulted. And that so that's angry. what he's angry about. But this is the thing. Dr. Mike was like, well, there you go. That's every problem. You're really it's like, shut. Oh. I know it's like Dr. Mike I have to tell you I think a lot of these relationships all of them not all of them some of them are doomed and you yeah. just can't face the facts yeah stop it Dr. Mike so mm-hmm. Dr. Mike asked about the baby and he said that he's 60 to 70 percent into this relationship see but that right there is your answer Kayla I, would be like, I think we should break up okay so he said that you could terminate adopt or parent a baby and she's gonna be like oh no I'm gonna parent a baby because he loved me he loved me that's mm-hmm. what she's saying uh-huh mm-hmm. yeah okay mm-hmm. Well, good luck well, with that. Um, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I need Brianna and Leah and Kaya. Like, I need them mm-hmm. here because this is very. They're coming. Stale. They're on their way. No, I know. I like. I. I really want to see what happens between Leah and Kaya. Like, that's what I want to know. I want to know about those arguments. I want to know what's going on with Brianna. Like, I really just don't care about this stuff. But Me I do want to see Cheyenne and Zach in therapy. Like, and talk about something real for once. They're never going to talk about anything real. Yeah, I think they talk about like he wants another kid and she doesn't. How about yeah. let's talk about the shooting? Guys, let's talk about the shooting. This is why you and I are not allowed to host a reunion. Yes. This is why you this is why. are not allowed to host a towel. No, 100%. I'd be I'd like, be like, what, about yada, 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 what about the shooting? Yada, yada, yada. What about the shooting? Was the laser really green? <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> happened to your boobs when you crashed the car exactly? Because I am actually a reconstructive plastic surgeon that specializes in corrective surgery. So and, tell me right. more. And wait, what happened? So you got in a car accident. Your implant ruptured and it went into your ass. And it, did you really get plucked and stuffed via Ashley? <laughs> Ashley said you got plucked. You were in your stuff. your your uh, what was it? The uh, the fuha? What is it called? Faha. Faha. Yeah. Right. Guys, come on, come on. Hilarious. Come on. Well, Noel, good for us. That's it for us. That's it for you guys. And we'll see you next week. In the meantime, make sure you follow the podcast Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram, Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter. Follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming stand-up comedy show dates. I might be coming to a, sh- uh, a city near you, so why don't you go check it out? TracyCarnazzo.com. Also, everything podcast related is there, including all of our Patreon stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, Trash Talk Podcast on TikTok. And we'll see you next week. Is that okay? okay? That sounds good to me. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.